ever curious about where in the world you go, what you loved, and who you went with. People explore world's best cities to live or do business or visit the most famous attractions, culture, restaurants, nightlife, shopping, and sports. Are you making a plan where you should travel to next? In this video, there are plenty of lists out there ranking the world's best cities. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Traveling Stream and ring the bell to notify about the latest videos. 100 Best Cities in the World The number one is London. London is the city of the kings and queens, is situated on the River Thames and that is one of the reasons it got ranked as the most beautiful capital city of England. The city is renowned for its arts, education, entertainment, fashion, and tourism. The capital of England is also known as the artistic capital of the world, probably because of the fine architectural style of buildings. If you visit the city, you should visit the London Eye, Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, the Palace of Westminster, and Madame Tussauds. The number two is Paris. Paris is the capital of France and a major European city and a global center for art, fashion, gastronomy, and culture. Paris is the most important and influential city in the world. In terms of tourism, Paris is the second most visited city in Europe after London. Some of the most memorable things to do in Paris include visiting the Eiffel Tower, the Arc de Triomphe, and Notre Dame Cathedral. During the evening, experiencing one of the legendary Moulin Rouge cabaret shows, strolling through some of the most picturesque neighborhoods feel very enjoyable. Number 3 is Bangkok. The bustling city of Bangkok is one of the top tourist cities in the world, with nearly 24.1 million visitors a year. The city is usually the first stopping point for anyone touring through Thailand. Bangkok has an exciting mix of packed subways, huge skyscrapers, temples, historic architecture, lavish gardens, palaces, and almost nightly sporting events, like kickboxing, that draw thousands of fans. Bangkok has a lively atmosphere, even during daylight hours. Travelers on a budget can find cheap entertainment, shopping bargains, and low-cost accommodations especially in the area of Khao San Road. The number 4 is Singapore. The city-state is becoming much popular among travelers around the world and attracts travelers year-round. The island of Singapore has a stunning blend of historic culture with old buildings nestled in among large skyscrapers. There is a charm between the old and the new in the way that small neighborhood shopping districts exist between the mega-luxury shopping malls that Singapore is known for. The beauty of Singapore is another reason people visit. The super wreath in the vertical gardens and the artistic green displays in gardens by the bay has a wow factor as they light up the city. The number 5 is New York City. There are so many elements that make New York City one of the best cities in the world. The city and the Statue of Liberty that travelers see as they arrive is symbolic of the culture and freedom that America stands for. The Big Apple is the financial hub of the United States, with Wall Street and international businesses. Most people visit New York City just to be a part of the city scene. It is where people go to make dreams come true, with experiences like seeing a Broadway show, watching the famous ball drop on New Year's Eve in Times Square, and taking part as a spectator watching the elaborate floats go by in Thanksgiving Day Parade. New York City is where things happen, and travelers enjoy having a taste of that excitement. The number 6 is Kuala Lumpur. The capital city of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur welcomes about 13 million visitors a year. It is a city with museums and ties to its culture in places like the Old Market Square, yet it is balanced by the edgy architecture of the Petronas Twin Towers and mega shopping malls. The city is always on, so you can find a nightlife scene any time of the day as you take in meeting the locals, dining, and watching sporting events. There are popular attractions that highlight the wildlife of the region, from the Aquaria Aquarium and the Kuala Lumpur Bird Park to the KL Butterfly Park. The number 7 is Hong Kong. Hong Kong is one of the most famous cities in the world. It has remained so for more than a decade and continues to attract travelers. With an estimated 29.2 million visitors a year, the city has a stronghold over other cities in the world when it comes to attracting travelers. Hong Kong is a convenient holiday destination, and its shopping, especially for bargains, is unmatched. It is also one of the most expensive places to travel if you plan to stay in the heart of the city. 
If you stay just beyond the main tourist areas in places like Jordan or Kowloon, you can find slightly less expensive accommodations. The number 8 is Dubai. Dubai in the United Arab Emirates is synonymous with luxury lifestyles. While Dubai is a large global business center, people enjoy vacationing among the rich and the attractions that cater to them. Dubai is home to the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, and it's where tourists find some other attractions that are among the largest in the world, like the shopping malls and aquarium. Dubai's nightlife and world-famous beaches also draw for visitors, who come to enjoy kicking back among the natural and man-made beauty of this extravagant city. The number 9 is Istanbul. Istanbul is one of the most famous cities in the world. Turkey, so it makes sense that people want to visit. The city is filled with historic mosques and palaces surrounded by cafes, shops, and chic hotels. The relaxed vibe in Istanbul attracts a crowd that enjoys afternoons hanging out and sipping tea or uncovering a vintage find at a local thrift store. Istanbul is also popular because of its elegant scenery. The artistic architecture of the homes along the Bosphorus Strait is one of the most picturesque sites in Turkey. The number 10 is Rome. Rome is one of those destinations that sits on many travelers' must-see someday lists. The culture of Rome and its historic architecture are its main draws. The Colosseum, Pantheon, Trevi Fountain and the Vatican usually top the list of things vacationers want to check off their list. The monuments and artwork throughout Rome are also a draw for visitors who want to step inside some of the oldest museums in the world. The number 11 is Shanghai. Shanghai is the China's largest city. With a population of over 20 million, Shanghai rivals the largest cities in the world for size and prosperity, and the Shanghainese are proud of it. Shanghai has profound modern urban culture and many historical sites, and with the fusion of regions south of the Yangtze River traditional culture and immigrants from different places of diverse cultures, forming the unique local culture of Shanghai. The number 12 is Los Angeles. Los Angeles is the ultimate star-studded destination for global travelers. There is almost too much to do in the vast Southern California city. Whether visitors are looking to walk among celebrities on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, go stargazing at Griffith Observatory or take in some of the most vibrant arts, culture and entertainment on the planet, Los Angeles has it all, and local accommodations, retail outlets and restaurants thrive thanks to the constant stream of international travelers year-round. The number 13 is Las Vegas. This city in the desert is known around the world for fun and excitement. The Strip, Las Vegas' famous resort Line Street, sparkles with lights and recreated glamorous sights from cities around the world. Many of the hotels are attractions in and of themselves and feature free street side shows, from dancing fountains to erupting volcanoes. You'll also find interesting museums, an always impressive list of shows, and countless other things to do. The number 14 is Miami. Miami is one of South Florida's premier vacation destinations, with beaches, great weather, history, culture, sports, and entertainment. Downtown Miami, separated from the Atlantic Ocean by the Biscayne Bay and Miami Beach, is a modern metropolis and cultural treasure trove. From the museums to the streets of Little Havana, you can always find plenty of things to do. The number 15 is Toronto. The country's financial center is home to towering skyscrapers and an abundance of museums and theaters where visitors can experience the melting pot of culture shared by its residents from all corners of the world. It's famous for the Toronto International Film Festival, the famed CN Tower, and the Scotiabank Arena where the Toronto Raptors often play ball. The bustling metropolis is the 29th most visited city in the world and the number one most favored place to visit for travelers in Canada. The number 16 is Barcelona. Barcelona is the country's second city but it is Spain's most popular destination for international visitors. It is a laid-back city which offers stunning coastlines combined with a wide range of things to see and do. The city is synonymous with Antoni Gaudi, the architect whose otherworldly structures attract millions of visitors each year. Foundation de Juan Miro, Camp Nou, Barcelona FC's stadium, Montjuic and the Picasso Museum are the most famous places in Barcelona. The number 17 is Dublin. Famous for its cultural heritage and charming hospitality, 
Dublin lies between Hoth in the north and the headland of Dalgi to the south on a wide bay. The River Liffey, which flows into the harbour, slices the city in two. Several bridges span the north-south divide, the most famous of which is O'Connell Bridge. Any are a lovely place to stroll and take in the essence of the capital. The number 18 is Amsterdam. The largest city in the Netherlands and one of the most visited cities in all of Europe. Amsterdam offers plenty of tourist attractions to visit. The top fun things to do is wandering the cobbled streets that line the city's many picturesque canals, especially in around the attractive Jordaan neighborhood. The old homes here were constructed in the early 17th century and are notable for the small inner courtyards tucked away behind them. The number 19 is Moscow. Moscow is the capital of Russia and is also the largest city on the European continent. Ranked last but not least, Moscow also has many other top rankings to its credit. It is the ninth most expensive city in the world, the tenth largest city according to population, and is one of the fastest growing tourist destinations in the world. Earlier, it was referred to as the city by the Moskva River and that is how it got its name. The top must-see places in Moscow are the Moscow Kremlin, Red Square, St. Basil's Cathedral, Bolshoi Theater, Moscow Museum of Modern Art. The number 20 is Cairo. Cairo is one of the world's great megacities. As beautiful as it is crazy, and as rich in historic finery as it is half dilapidated, Cairo tends to be a city that travelers love and hate in equal measures. Its sheer noise, pollution, and confounding traffic are an assault on your senses, but look beyond the modern hubbub, and you'll find a history that spans centuries. Full of vigor, Cairo is where you really get a feel for Egyptian street life. No trip to Egypt is complete without a stay in the city Arabs call Am al Dunya. The number 21 is Prague. Prague is one of the most beautiful places which you would visit on your trip to Eastern Europe. The nickname of Prague is the city of a hundred spires, Prague is an affordable option for many young travelers. It's a popular stop on the interrail route. Prague boasts of the finest architectural masterpieces you would surely love to witness. It has amazing bridges which go back into the rich history of time. Prague is undoubtedly one of the cheapest capital cities in Europe where you get an unlimited monthly transport ticket for any public transport that you wish to avail. The 22 is Vienna. It is the capital of the Republic of Austria and one of Europe's most visited cities, Vienna, Wien, owes much of its charm and rich history to its splendid location on the banks of the Danube River. For centuries the gateway between West and East Europe, it was the natural nucleus of the once sprawling Habsburg Empire, and to this day remains Austria's most important commercial and cultural hub. The 23rd is Madrid. Madrid actually receives more visitors per year than Barcelona, however, Spain's capital receives fewer foreign visitors. The city is famous for its world-class museums, such as the El Prado Museum as well as one of the liveliest nightlife scenes in the world. Some of the other best sites to see include the Rey Tiro Park, the Royal Palace and Gardens, Plaza Mayor, the capital's main square, and the Temple of David. Madrid may not have a beach like Barcelona but it makes up for it with its abundance of cultural points of interest. The 24 is San Francisco. Beneath the fog, San Francisco is home to iconic landmarks and rich history. For decades, the city has served as a major tourism gateway that, in addition to drawing interest to places like the Golden Gate Bridge, Pier 39, and Alcatraz Island, also introduces global travelers to the surrounding region, influencing economies well past its 7 by 7 mile borders. The number 25 is Vancouver. With its mountain backdrop and urban beaches, Vancouver has the rightly earned reputation of being one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Downtown Vancouver is superbly situated on a peninsula in the Strait of Georgia, bounded to the south by the delta of the Fraser River and to the north by a deep fjord reaching far inland, Burrard and Let. Also to the north, clean the often snow-covered ranges of the coast mountains. With its extensive parks and agreeable climate keeping temperatures mild throughout the year, Vancouver is a paradise for outdoor activities. The number 26 is Budapest. Budapest, the capital of Hungary and considered by many to be the Paris of the East, is one of the most culturally important metropolises in Eastern Europe, and is home to numerous UNESCO World Heritage Sites. 
Although humans have lived here since the Stone Age, this beautiful city only formally came into being in 1872 with the amalgamation of three previously independent towns, Old Buda, Abuda, Buda, and Pest, to become the administrative, commercial, and industrial center of Hungary. The number 27 is Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro's setting between the mountains and the sea is so spectacular that UNESCO cited the staggeringly beautiful location for one of the world's biggest cities in naming Rio a World Heritage Site. UNESCO's accolades weren't just for the natural setting but also for the urban cultural landscape and the mix of architecture and planned green space that characterized the city's growth. The 28 number is Berlin. Berlin, the capital of Germany and the country's largest city, is also a major center of politics, culture, media, and science. Noted for its cultural flair, Berlin is home to the world-famous Berlin Opera and Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra, while its diverse art scene encompasses hundreds of galleries, events, and museums, including those on Museum Island, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 29 is Tokyo. Tokyo, the capital city of Japan and one of the best places to visit in Asia, is also home to the Imperial Palace and the seat of government and parliament. Located in east-central Honshu, the largest of Japan's main islands, this heavily populated city is well worth visiting and serves as a great base from which to explore other parts of the country. One of the world's most modern cities in terms of its infrastructure and design. The number 30 is Mexico City. Mexico City is big, both in terms of population and area, most of the city's best tourist attractions and popular things to do are in the historic city center, Centro Histórico de la Ciudad, a 15-square-kilometer UNESCO World Heritage Site containing more than 1,400 important buildings from the 16th to 19th centuries. For travelers, this is one of the best places to visit in Mexico, as examples of the city's Aztec origins and its Spanish colonization can all be enjoyed on foot. The number 31 is Buenos Aires. Elegant yet always bustling, Buenos Aires encapsulates the very essence of Argentina. South America's second largest city, Buenos Aires is the political, economic, and cultural capital of Argentina, as well as the gateway to the rest of this large nation. Its compact three-line center is reminiscent of Paris, with many charming corners where tidy high-rise apartments are interspersed with attractive 19th-century buildings. Most first-time visitors are surprised to find that this big city has managed to preserve its old traditions. The number 32 is St. Petersburg. Moscow might be Russia's most modern, cosmopolitan city, but St. Petersburg is the cultural and historical heart of the country. Home to the Hermitage, one of the largest and most stunning art museums in the world, surrounded by canals, and home to beautiful white nights, when the sun never sets in summer, St. Petersburg is regal and inspiring. 33 Number is Seoul. Seoul, South Korea is a vibrant and exciting city, one that deftly combines ancient history with ultra-modern design and technology. The city is filled with a wide range of tourist attractions of all types, from outdoor adventures like exploring Mount Namsan and its surrounding park to indoor fun like visiting one of Seoul's many museums. Seoul is also a city of palaces, with five huge palace complexes located throughout the city and now restored to their former glory. The number 34 is Athens. A symbol of Western civilization at its most magnificent, Athens' illustrious history stretches back more than 3,000 years. The city flourished during classical antiquity and was the birthplace of Socrates, Pericles, and Sophocles. More than just a relic of its glorious past, today Athens is a bustling and modern capital city and home to some of the country's most important tourist attractions. 35 number is Jerusalem. The most contested city on earth is also one of the most beautiful. Jerusalem's scope of history is staggering, and the major role the city plays in the traditions of all three major monotheistic faiths has led to it being continually fought over, across the centuries. This is the heart of the Holy Land, where the Jews raised the first temple to keep the Ark of the Covenant safe, where Jesus was crucified and rose again, and where the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven to receive God's word. The number 36 is Seattle. 
Seattle has undergone an astonishing transformation into the largest city in Washington state. Driven in part by its flourishing economy, it is today an energetic, forward-looking city at the forefront of innovation. The city is rich in culture and easy-going lifestyles, and it's no accident that Seattle is the coffee capital of the United States, with an espresso bar on almost every corner. One of the city's most active sightseeing areas is the waterfront and piers, home to recreational spaces, boat tours, and ferry docks, as well as fun attractions like the Great Ferris Wheel. The number 37 is Delhi. Delhi is both a union territory within India, as well as a city, and features two very different worlds, New Delhi and Old Delhi. One of the most populous regions in the world, Delhi is a heady mix of tradition and modernity, important as both a religious center and India's busiest international gateway. Its history is as old as the ancient Yamuna River, one of the most sacred rivers in Hinduism and a natural dividing line between New Delhi to the west and Old Delhi to the east. The number 38 is Sydney. Sydney the oldest, biggest, and most beautiful of all Australian cities, lies amid a seductive intermingling of land and sea. Glide along the glittering harbour on a ferry, see the white sails of the Opera House gleaming in the sunshine, admire the graceful arch of the Harbour Bridge, and it's hard to imagine this vibrant state capital of New South Wales was once a convict colony. In 1788, it was at Sydney Cove where Captain Arthur Phillip, commander of the First Fleet, established the first British colony in Australia. The number 39 is Mumbai. Mumbai is a city of contrasts. Arguably India's most cosmopolitan city, it brims with gourmet restaurants, five-star hotels, the fancy living quarters of Bollywood megastars, and renowned attractions. But remember, an estimated 20 million people call this bustling metropolis home, giving India's largest city a distinctively chaotic, energized feel. Mumbai is equally parts overwhelming and inspiring, and you'll never forget your first visit to this city. Tourists are spoiled for choice when it comes to things to do in Mumbai. The number 40 is Munich. Munich, the capital of Bavaria and the third largest city in Germany, lies on the river Rizar on the fringes of the Bavarian Alps. It began as a monastery, growing into a settlement when the Duke of Bavaria allowed the monks to establish a market at the crossing of the route from Salzburg and the river. Munich is a fun-loving city, known for its seasonal festivals and rich cultural calendar, so along with visiting the beautiful churches and outstanding museums and palaces, you should spend some time enjoying life with the locals at a festival, a colorful market, or over a slice of one of Munich's famous cakes in a conditori. The number 41 is Venice. In a city as filled with tourist attractions as Venice, it's hard to know where to begin. Perhaps the best way is to simply get lost for a few hours wandering through its enchanting little streets and passageways, strolling beside its canals, and finding its secret corners. At every turn, you'll see something worth remembering with a photo. No matter where this exploration takes you, it's easy to find your way back to Piazza San Marco and the Grand Canal. Most of the best sites you'll want to visit lie around these two landmarks. The number 42 is Florence. It would take weeks to see everything Florence has to offer. Almost any one of its dozens of churches would be the prized tourist attraction of a smaller city. Some of its sites are among Italy's best-known icons, Ponte Vecchio, Michelangelo's David, Brunelleschi's Dome, and the entire city is a showcase of the Italian Renaissance, the humanist artistic movement that broke Europe out of the Dark Ages. Number 43 is Beijing. Beijing, only eclipsed by Shanghai in terms of size, is not only the political center of China, a position it has held for more than 800 years, it also plays an important role in the nation's cultural, economic, scientific, and academic life. Located in the northwest of the North China Plain, not far from the western slopes of the Yanshan Mountains, Beijing, still sometimes referred to as Peking, is a great place from which to explore this dynamic country due to its dense network of road, rail, and airline connections with other major cities. The number 44 is Cape Town. Set seductively between mountains and the sea, Cape Town flaunts its natural beauty with pride. Rising above the city, iconic Table Mountain provides the perfect plateau for panoramic views that stretch to the glittering Atlantic, botanical gardens beckon from its slopes, and the city's long blonde beaches, backed by towering peaks, are some of South Africa's best. 
bubbling beneath the surface is an irrepressible sense of adventure, and travelers can join in the fun with a range of outdoor activities, from hiking, biking, surfing, and paragliding to whale watching trips and cage dives with great white sharks. The number 45 is Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia, on the Potomac River between Maryland and Virginia, was set aside as the nation's capital, so that the federal government would not be located in any single state. Pierre Charles L'Enfant was commissioned by George Washington to plan the city, and you can clearly see L'Enfant's layout of a street grid intersected by broad avenues. The most important of these is Pennsylvania Avenue, connecting two iconic buildings, the White House and the impressive domed Capitol building. Alongside and maintaining L'Enfant's vision of an open and spacious city stretches the White National Mall with its museums and monuments. The number 46 is Montreal. Montreal the second largest French-speaking city in the world. Despite the city's size, the parts of Montreal that interest tourists are in relatively compact neighborhoods. Major museums and arts venues are in the Centerville, downtown, area, where you'll find Rue Sherbrooke, probably the city's most elegant thoroughfare. It is the spine of the city and the location of many museums and other institutions. Rue Sweet Catherine is Montreal's main shopping thoroughfare, a busy street lined with department stores, shops, and restaurants. The number 47 is Atlanta. Atlanta, the capital of Georgia, is in almost all respects the principal center of the American South. The city was originally a military outpost, becoming an early railway junction and rapidly developing into an important commercial town. Atlanta has become a major economic and cultural center and an important hub of air traffic. Internationally famed businesses, including Coca-Cola and CNN, have their headquarters here. The number 48 is Boston. Perhaps no other city in America holds as much history of the colonial and revolutionary war era as Boston. It's not surprising then that its main sites have become a pilgrimage trail for Americans and for others who hope to get a sense of that history. But more than that, the Freedom Trail is a good introduction to today's city, connecting or passing close to some of its best-loved tourist attractions. Boston is easy to navigate on foot, as its major sites are relatively close, and America's first subway system, the T, connects its important neighborhoods. The number 49 is Philadelphia. Philadelphia is one of America's most important historical cities. Modern office towers exist side by side with the narrow cobblestone streets of Independence Historic National Park, which is home to historic buildings and sites, including the Liberty Bell, Franklin Court, and Independence Hall. Germantown in northwest Philadelphia is another old residential section, first inhabited by Germans and the Dutch. However, many 18th-century buildings have been handsomely restored. The number 50 is Chicago. Chicago, the Windy City as it is often called, lies along the shores of Lake Michigan. Known for its vibrant art scene, numerous cultural attractions, excellent shopping, and interesting architecture, this city attracts visitors from the U.S. and around the globe. Chicago enjoys a worldwide reputation as a focal point of 20th-century architecture and art, with architects such as Louis Sullivan and Frank Lloyd Wright, and artists like Picasso, Miro, Dubuffet, and Chagall leaving their mark. The number 51 is San Diego. Located in Southern California, not far from the Mexico border, San Diego is the oldest town in California. It has an enchanting natural beauty and a mild Mediterranean climate, with plenty of sunshine, perfect for outdoor adventures. Some of the city's most popular tourist attractions are the museums, gardens, and Spanish colonial-style architecture found in Balboa Park, the world-famous San Diego Zoo, and the Midway Aircraft Carrier Museum. The number 52 is Stockholm. Often called the Venice of the North for its waterways and lakes, Stockholm, the capital city of Sweden, lies on a number of islands and peninsulas at the outflow of Lake Mälar into the Baltic, which here forms a deep inlet. The charm of its setting lies in the intermingling of land and water, the skerries fringing the coast, the crags rearing up from the sea, the intricate pattern of waterways encompassing the city. The number 53 is Cancun. On a 21-kilometer-long, 400-meter-wide, L-shaped island off the north coast of Yucatan, 
sits Cancun, a purpose-built luxury resort with an excellent tourist infrastructure. This large vacation center was built up from virtually nothing in little more than a decade and is now one of the most visited destinations in all of Mexico, attracting more than 4 million tourists annually. The big draw? Endless fun things to do, countless glorious white sand beaches to relax on, impressive large coral reefs to explore, and near-perfect weather. The number 54 is Warsaw. Warsaw is a good place to experience a city that has been reborn several times, rising from the ashes like the proverbial phoenix. Over the centuries, it has been plundered and invaded many times by forces from Sweden and France to Russia. It suffered heavy damage from German bombs in World War II. Yet, Warsaw today is a new, vibrant city that has been largely restored to its pre-World War II. Among the tourist attractions in Warsaw, Old Town, with its palace, churches, and castles, is not to be missed. Visitors also will want to take advantage of the city's impressive cultural activities. The number 55 is Sharm El Sheikh. Sharm El Sheikh is the Sinai Peninsula's major tourism center and one of the world's top diving destinations. It was the underwater tourist attractions of the Red Sea, particularly the waters of the Ras Mohammed Marine Park just south of town, that put Sharm center stage on Sinai's tourism map in the first place, and for anyone planning an Egypt diving holiday, this is one of the best places to visit in the country. This is also one of Egypt's best destinations if you just want to chill out on the beach. The number 56 is Dallas. The city of Dallas has a rich history rooted in ranching, farming, and oil production, growing rapidly as a trade center after the introduction of the railroad in 1873. Dallas displays a wide variety of architecture, most notably modern and postmodern structures like the Perot Museum of Nature and Science, the Gothic Revival Kirby Building, and the Victorian and neoclassical homes on Swiss Avenue. The number 57 is Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh City is Vietnam's commercial hub and largest city, and it's a place where old abuts new with striking contrast. Temples huddle amid skyscrapers and designer shops, locals cast bamboo fishing rods into the languorous Saigon River, and in places, the city feels almost European, with its elegant French colonial architecture and wide, tree-lined avenues. Not far from the city, the famous Chu Chi tunnels are a must-see attraction, and the lush waterscapes and small villages of the Mekong Delta provide a fascinating glimpse of rural life. The number 58 is Milan. While Milan, Milano, may not be the first city a tourist thinks of when planning a trip to Italy, it has more than its share of attractions, not to mention history. For all its workaholic reputation as the money and business center of Italy, it's a city with an influential past and a rich cultural heritage. The number 59 is Oslo. Oslo, the beautiful capital city of Norway, is one of the world's largest capitals in terms of area. But interestingly, only 20% of this land mass has been developed. The remainder consists of parks, protected forests, hills, and hundreds of lakes. Parks and open spaces are an integral part of Oslo's cityscape and are easily accessible from almost anywhere in the city. The number 60 is Lisbon. Lisbon, the capital of Portugal, is one of Europe's most beautiful and cosmopolitan cities. Lisbon is a colorful and vibrant destination. Renowned for its warm and sunny disposition, the city is blessed with a wealth of historic monuments, world-class museums, and a host of other fabulous things to do that can easily be worked into a single or multi-day itinerary. You can explore the narrow streets of the Old Quarter, stroll the riverbank promenade, or wander through verdant parks and gardens. The number 61 is Punta Cana. Where an endless stretch of beautiful white sand beach meets the emerald waters of the Caribbean is Punta Cana, the Dominican Republic's premier resort destination. Bavaro Beach is Punta Cana's most impressive stretch of beach, where you can wade into the water or walk for hours along the sand. If you are looking for luxury all-inclusive resorts, a couple's retreat, or family-friendly accommodation combined with an unending list of water-based activities for entertainment, Punta Cana is the best place to visit in the Dominican Republic. The number 62 is Johannesburg. Johannesburg, affectionately called Joburg, 
Josie, and Agoli, the city of gold, is the financial and industrial metropolis of South Africa, built on a rich history of gold mining. The city is rapidly evolving from an edgy safari stopover to a vibrant hub for arts and culture. Cutting-edge contemporary galleries and the Numa Bonang precinct, with its funky restaurants, cafes, and art studios, now rank among the city's top tourist attractions along with the Pointing to Partide Museum and Constitution Hill. The number 63 is Antalya. Antalya is a Turkish resort city with a yacht-filled old harbor and beaches flanked by large hotels. It's a gateway to Turkey's southern Mediterranean region, known as the Turquoise Coast for its blue waters. Antalya offers plenty of things to do for everyone. If you want to dose up on sightseeing, you'll find a fascinating lineup of tourist attractions to keep you busy. The labyrinth in Old Town is full of atmospheric historic sites, while the city is perfectly placed to act as your base for sightseeing around the outlying area, where dozens of grand ruins await. The number 64 is Mecca. Mecca, in a desert valley in western Saudi Arabia, is Islam's holiest city, as it's the birthplace of the Prophet Muhammad and the faith itself. Only Muslims are allowed in the city, with millions arriving for the annual Hajj, pilgrimage. At a height of 277 meters above sea level, in a narrow valley lies the city of Mecca. The holiest city in the world for 1.23 billion people or 23% of the world's population is designated by the Prophet Muhammad as well as the direction in which all Muslims should offer their prayers five times a day, no matter where they are on earth. Although most tourism in Saudi Arabia still largely involves religious pilgrimages, there is growth in the leisure tourism sector, approximately 3 million people visit Mecca annually. The number 65 is Macau. Just 60 kilometers west of Hong Kong, Macau is a special administered region of China. The main attractions and tourist-focused things to do are primarily located on the mainland and relatively close to one another. Getting around here is easy, and you can explore many of the sites on foot, walking through the twisty streets. The entertainment areas and massive hotels are clustered along the waterfront and also on the island of Koh Tai. Be sure to pick up a tourist map of Macau to orient yourself. Number 66 is Pattaya. Thailand's famous beach resort town of Pattaya has developed a colorful reputation over the years. Located less than 200 kilometers from Thailand's capital city of Bangkok, it's a convenient place to enjoy the sun, sand, and sea. Pattaya has drawn tourists and expats from all over the world ever since U.S. soldiers discovered the one sleepy getaway destination during the Vietnam War. Since then, Pattaya's profile has steadily increased, and it is now one of the most popular beach destinations in Southeast Asia. The number 67 is Guangzhou. Guangzhou is a sprawling port city northwest of Hong Kong on the Pearl River. The big export industry and rapid bullet trains to other regions in China draw hundreds of thousands of foreigners to the city each year. This beautiful city offers many remarkable sites including Canton Tower, Shen Clan Ancestral Hall, Sun Yat Senator Memorial Hall, Chime Long Safari Park, and more. The number 68 is Kiev. Kiev is the capital and most populous city of Ukraine. It is in north-central Ukraine along the Dnieper River. The city has a population of 3 million, but in most neighborhoods, it retains its small-town vibe. As the hub of science, industry, and culture in Ukraine, there isn't much you won't find in this undiscovered Eastern European gem. Whether you are looking for romance, history, or just a getaway to somewhere unique, Kiev offers a little something for everyone within the city limits. The number 69 is Shenzhen. Shenzhen, in southeastern China, is a modern metropolis that links Hong Kong to China's mainland. It's known for its shopping destinations, including Luohu Commercial City, a massive mall with a vast array of wares, from tailors' custom clothing to faux designer bags. The city also features contemporary buildings, such as the 600 meters tall skyscraper Ping and International Finance Center, and a number of amusement parks. Whether you want to go to Xinjiang for a visiting or a living purpose, Xinjiang is the best choice. The number 70 is Bucharest. Bucharest, in southern Romania, is the country's capital and commercial center. The charm of Bucharest is revealed by exploring its sprawling city parks, 
admiring the works of art and exhibits at its excellent museums, and getting lost in the gritty yet charming lanes that weave through the old town. A stroll down Calia Victory I, arguably one of the prettiest places to visit in the city, is an encounter with the country's grandest buildings and most meaningful monuments, all a testament to times gone by. The number 71 is Taipei. Taipei, the capital of Taiwan, is a modern metropolis with Japanese colonial lanes, busy shopping streets, and contemporary buildings. Taipei is also known for its lively street food scene and many night markets, including the expansive Xilin Market. Taipei is a hugely underrated destination and I can't urge you enough to visit. It combines culture, nature, wonderful people, and affordability. I don't understand why more people don't visit but make their loss, your gain. The number 72 is Orlando. A city in central Florida, is home to more than a dozen theme parks. Chief among its claims to fame is Walt Disney World, comprised of parks like the Magic Kingdom and Epcot, as well as water parks. Another major destination, Universal Orlando, offers Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, with the Wizarding World of Harry Potter straddling both. While many people think of Orlando as only a family destination, dominated by activities targeted at children, adults will find plenty to keep them entertained as well. The number 73 is Brussels. The city of Brussels is the largest municipality and historical center of the Brussels capital region and the capital of Belgium. Unlike beautiful Bruges and Ghent, with their hordes of tourists, Brussels is Belgium's main economic and educational hub, which gives the city a more workaday feel than other towns. Here, you get a proper feel for Belgian life, especially its fantastic restaurant and cafe culture. The number 74 is Islamabad. Islamabad is the capital city of Pakistan and is administered by the Pakistani federal government as part of the Islamabad capital territory. Due to its scenic views and natural beauty, the city is ranked as the second most beautiful capital in the world. The city is full of amazing sightseeing spots, contemporary eateries, mush green parks, loads of recreational activity spots, and much more. The number 75 is Marrakesh. Marrakesh is a city that sums up all of Morocco's exotic North African charm. The city's name provided the root for the name of the country itself spelling out this town's importance through the ages. Within the hustle of the Medina, you'll find the city's main points of interest in a dizzying melt of ancient and new. Just soaking up the atmosphere here tops the things to do list, with snake charmers and smooth shop touts both competing for your attention amid a noisy, colorful bustle that encapsulates Morocco's vibrant soul. The number 76 is Phuket. Phuket is Thailand's largest island, and arguably the most famous. Blue waters, sandy beaches, spicy Thai cuisine, and excellent snorkeling and diving are all part of the appeal. Arriving from all over the world, travelers flock to Phuket for relaxation and adventure, and the island rates as one of the most popular destinations in Thailand. Phuket has an exceptional climate with warm, sunny days year-round. Monsoon season is usually mid-May through October, but it might only rain once or twice a day during this period. The number 77 is Adirne. Adirne is a city in the northwest of Turkey. In the center of the city, the 16th century Selimiye Mosque, built by architect Mimar Sinan, is considered an Ottoman classic, with a large dome and four minarets. The Turkish and Islamic Art Museum, inside the mosque complex, has religious and ethnographic displays dating from the Ottoman era. The main tourist attraction people come to see is the Selimiye Mosque, agreed by most historians to represent the epitome of Ottoman architectural design. There's plenty more finery to explore and things to do beyond this major landmark, though. The number 78 is Bali. Bali is one of the most evocative and popular tourist islands of the entire Indonesian archipelago. A visit here sparks the senses. The intoxicating fragrance of incense and clove oil hangs in the thick tropical air. Peanuts sizzle at roadside stalls, petal-strewn offerings smolder on busy sidewalks, and traditional gamelan music jangles against the buzz of mopeds. Despite the clamor and chaos of the main tourist areas, the island is rich in natural beauty, with attractions for every kind of traveler. 
The number 79 is Copenhagen. Denmark's capital, Copenhagen, is by far the largest city in the country. Here, you'll find a multitude of tourist attractions to please even the pickiest of travelers. For instance, the Parliament, Folketing, at Christianspoa, familiar to many through the Danish smash hit TV series Borgen, and the residence of the royal family at Amalienborg are unmissable. The city is perfect for wandering through at your leisure, or alternatively, make like a local and hop on a bike, the preferred mode of transport for many. The number 80 is Sao Paulo. The largest city in South America, Sao Paulo sits on the Pirachininga Plateau and is surrounded by rivers that fan out into the interior. Almost from its founding in 1554, Sao Paulo became the gateway to the Sertão, Brazil's back country, and explorers known as Bandeirants made expeditions from the city into this region. Today's main highways to interior cities still follow the routes of the Bandeirants. The number 81 is Agra. Agra is a city on the banks of the Yamuna River in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh, about 210 kilometers south of the national capital New Delhi. With a population of roughly 1.6 million, Agra is the fourth most populous city in Uttar Pradesh and the 23rd most populous city in India. The Taj Mahal is just one of many amazing places to visit in Agra. While here, you can explore the historically significant Agra Fort, experience the impressively beautiful tomb of Itamada Daula, see one of the largest mosques in India at Fatehpur Sikri, and find respite in Maida Bagh, a serene park in the shadows of the Taj. The number 82 is Chennai. Chennai is not only the fourth largest Indian city but it is the 36th metropolitan city the world over. It is also one of the must-visit places in Tamil Nadu. The rich heritage and tradition of the city are the reasons for it being referred to as the cultural capital of India. Chennai was established by the British during the 17th century. However, the city has a great historical past that is evident from some of the famous constructions in the city that stand the test of time to prove that the city is much more ancient than its accounted years. The number 83 is Riyadh. Riyadh, Saudi Arabia's capital and main financial hub, is on a desert plateau in the country's center. Business district landmarks include the 302 meters high Kingdom Center, with a sky bridge connecting two towers, and 267 meters high Al Faisalia Center, with a glass globe summit. It's the largest city on the Arabian Peninsula and one of the wealthiest cities in the world. There are several places to visit in Riyadh and enjoy to the fullest. Riyadh is situated in the central portions of both the country and the larger Arabian Peninsula. Few of the world's cities have transformed as rapidly as Riyadh, which grew from a small, fortified desert village in the 17th century into a modern metropolis of several million inhabitants in the 20th century. The number 84 is Jakarta. Jakarta, Indonesia's massive capital, sits on the northwest coast of the island of Java. A diverse mix of traditions, from Javanese and Malay to Arab, Indian, and Dutch swirl together in this megalopolis. The result is a dynamic, lively city with its own intriguing flavor. You'll discover that Jakarta has the world's best coffee scene, and most socializing in the city takes place at trendy cafes, not lounges. You'll find yourself craving the fried rice found at Jakarta's countless street food stalls, and develop friendships with the chefs. The number 85 is Auckland. The harbourside city of Auckland is New Zealand's only true metropolis and the vibrant economic heart of the country. Known as the city of sales, Auckland sprawls out in helter-skelter fashion between Manukau Harbour to the west and Waitamata Harbour to the east, with a compact central city district right beside the waterway. For most visitors to New Zealand, Auckland is the point of arrival, and a few days soaking up the cultural and outdoor attractions here should be on every tourist to-do list. The number 86 is Honolulu. Honolulu is the capital of Hawaii and the main point of entry for most visitors to the state. Easily accessible by direct flights from North America, Asia, and destinations around the South Pacific, Hawaii is a major tourist destination, with visitors from all over coming here to enjoy the beaches and tropical climate. The city of Honolulu falls roughly into three areas that include Waikiki, Downtown, and Pearl Harbor. The main attraction is Waikiki, a peninsula covering nearly half a square mile, with a beautiful stretch of soft sand beach. The number 87 is Edinburgh. 
one of the most beautiful cities in all of the UK, Edinburgh rises from the wide firth of Forth to a high, rocky pinnacle crowned by the stone walls and towers of Edinburgh Castle. The Scottish capital is a centre of culture and the arts and is especially well known for its festivals. These include the Edinburgh International Book Festival, which welcomes more than 1,000 authors, to the sparkling Christmas markets and the Edinburgh Fringe, the world's largest festival of the arts. Between these and internationally known events such as the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo. The 88 is Wellington. Wellington, the capital of New Zealand, sits near the North Island's southernmost point on the Cook Strait. Wellington may be little, but this diminutive capital city is big on funky cafe culture and beautiful views. Snuggled between steep, forest-clad hills and a wide sweep of bay looking out to Cook Strait, Wellington spreads out across the slopes, and a sturdy pair of walking shoes benefits visitors who want to explore outside of the central business district. On a blue sky summer's day there really is no prettier city in New Zealand. The number 89 is New Orleans. New Orleans is a Louisiana city on the Mississippi River, near the Gulf of Mexico. Nicknamed the Big Easy, it's known for its round-the-clock nightlife, vibrant live music scene, and spicy, singular cuisine reflecting its history as a melting pot of French, African and American cultures. Most of the action for tourists is centered around the French Quarter, with the infamous Bourbon Street at the heart of the district. Along the Mississippi River, which borders the French Quarter to the south, are horse-drawn carriages waiting to take visitors on a tour, the steamboat Natch is docked along the shore, and tourists lined up to buy beignets. The number 90 is Para. The city of Petra, the capital of the Nabataean Arabs, is one of the most famous archaeological sites in the world. Petra is one of the most popular places to visit on the planet. Take a look at almost any traveler's bucket list and Petra will be on it. Why? Because it really is amazing. But guess what? There is so much more to Petra than the treasury, the iconic facade featured in every travel book and brochure about Petra. The Rose City's appeal is famous for its multicolored sandstone and genuine Nabataean architecture, making it one of the most archaeological treasures in the Middle East and the world. The number 91 is Melbourne. Melbourne is the coastal capital of the southeastern Australian state of Victoria. With its tangle of hidden laneways, tree-lined promenades, and grand Victorian buildings funded by the 1850s gold rush, the city has a distinctly European feel. Foodies will also find plenty to love. Famous Aussie chefs flaunt their talents here, and you can feast on everything, from Greek, Italian, and Indian cuisine to Spanish and Vietnamese fare. The famous Melbourne Cup horse race held on the first Tuesday in November, brings the entire nation to a standstill, and Australian rules football elicits an almost religious reverence here. The number 92 is Luxor. Luxor is a city on the east bank of the Nile River in southern Egypt. Luxor stands head and shoulders above Egypt's other towns for the sheer wealth of historic tourist attractions and things to do for travelers. The glut of ancient Egypt's giant-sized temples and tombs lined with vibrant wall paintings you can visit here makes the town an open-air museum, while if there are only so many monuments you can cope with, there are hot air ballooning and felucca rides to temper temple overload. This is the best place to visit in Egypt to simply lose yourself in the wonders of the ancient world. The number 93 is Hanoi. Dive into Hanoi's pulsating city streets, and you'll capture the essence of Vietnamese life. The country's capital is a burgeoning economic center that still clings strongly to traditional culture, managing to be a showcase of both old and modern Vietnam. The old quarter district hums with street vendor action, the cafes and restaurants are vibrant, contemporary scenes, and just trying to cross a road here can end up being an adrenaline-fueled escapade. The number 94 is Manila. The busy city of Manila, the capital of the Philippines, is an exciting and energetic metropolis. Hop on board any of the colorful and kitschy jeepneys to get from one place to another around town. The iconic buses that usually pack in more people than they can hold are the main form of transportation and worth at least one ride during your visit, just for the experience. Manila is an eclectic mix of modern attractions and rich history, as evidenced by the many cathedrals and tributes to the city's 16th-century establishment and modern-day malls and amenities. 
The number 95 is Houston. If you are looking for culture, dining, shopping, unique attractions, and fun experiences, you'll find no shortage of things to do in Houston. This is the fourth largest city in the United States and home to the famous Space Center Houston, renowned chefs, inspiring museums, and beautiful green spaces, complete with a bio running through the heart of the city. Depending on your travel dates, you may even be able to take in a sports game or enjoy Houston's signature event, the Livestock Show and Rodeo. Houston makes a great destination for a weekend getaway, with direct flights from all over North America. The number 96 is Phnom Penh. Vibrant, bustling Phnom Penh is the heartbeat of Cambodia. This sprawling capital, spread out beside the banks of both the Tinle Sap and Mekong rivers, is a city of wide central boulevards and skinny back alleys, where modern and old collide. The Royal Palace Complex is the city's must-do, but for anyone interested in exploring Cambodia's 20th century history, Phnom Penh is also a vital stop, for it is home to two of the country's most sobering sites. The number 97 is Zurich. The city of Zurich, a global center for banking and finance, lies at the north end of Lake Zurich in northern Switzerland. Its many attractions include dozens of museums, a well-preserved old town filled with medieval and renaissance buildings, and enough art, both in and out of museums, to keep art lovers happy for a week. Zurich's tradition of liberal thinking and active intellectual life attracted leading figures that included Georg Buschner, Vladimir Lenin, James Joyce, C. G. Jung, and Thomas Mann, and this tradition continues into modern times. The number 98 is Lima. Lima, the capital of Peru, lies on the country's arid Pacific coast. At first glimpse, Lima seems to stretch endlessly from the ocean into the hills, a sprawling metropolis that doesn't look anything like the tourist images of brightly dressed Andean villagers posed with their llamas in front of soaring mountain peaks. But a closer look proves that this huge city, home to almost a third of Peru's population, has its own attractions that are as fascinating and colorful as the inland scenes you've pictured. The number 99 is Santiago. Santiago, Chile's capital and largest city, sits in a valley surrounded by the snow-capped Andes and the Chilean coast range. It's a bustling city of more than 6 million people, but you will still find traces of its heritage in the colonial and 19th century neoclassical buildings. This scenic city has several hills that tower above it, with the Mapocho River flowing through it and the Andes Mountains in the background. Subsequently, you can also find several boutique hotels with stunning views here. The number 100 is Bogota. Bogota is the capital of the largest city in Colombia. It is a place of convergence for people from all around the country and is therefore diverse and multicultural. Within this city, the past and present come together. The city is also very green thanks to its parks and the hills that extend along its eastern boundary, dwarfed by their two highest points, Monserrate and Guadalupe. Bogota also has the colors of modern buildings and authentic colonial roof tiles that are a true historical treasure from the colonial era. 